I need to say something. I was listening to Cryon and suddenly, like, I, I, I need to express myself. We all have the DNA of God. We are all son and daughter of God. God flows through us. And you know what? When you think about God, God is pure. So that's why, you know, when me, I am doing, taking care of myself and free myself from karma and, you know, detoxify my body and reclaiming back my health, I embody more and more and more the purity of God. And in the eyes of God, I am able to see who are not God, who are like, uh, they are not embodying their true self. And the true self of, of each and every one on planet Earth is supposed to be representing God at the best of their abilities. But me on my path, wherever I go, I see people not representing God. When I see those at the department store that, you know, they could uh, not do this, but they do, so there are like temptation. Oh, I'm gonna buy some cigarettes. I'm gonna buy some beer. You know, like I've been there, done that, I know, and I was not embodying God at that time. So me, with the eyes of God, in the progress that I make, because I invest so much in my health and so much in meditation and so much in nature, that I am able to say, I am able to embody God at the best of my ability. I'm not 100%. The goal is, well, it's to be as clear as possible. But, like, that's why it triggered me when I see people not in their higher power, that they are not embodying God, they are not reclaiming back their health. They are not reclaiming back their power because someone is going to smoke drugs, smoke cigarettes, eat crappy food. I'm sorry, but God does not work like this. God made the game and knows that there is bad temptation on planet Earth and good temptation. And if you fall into the trap, it's like you shut down God of you. You say, no, I'm not God, I'm somebody else. And that's the issue that the new earth rising, those who embody God, are frustrated about what they witness. With all the information that is out there, with YouTube, with social media, they should not have an excuse why they are not reclaiming back their health right now in 2019. Of course, you know, God I'm not God, and you know, I'm not God, and it's been like 50 years I'm not God, and I'm never going to be God. Like, there is no compassion. Like, you never step into your role, your true purpose on earth. So, you're a lost soul. Like, let the place to someone else, 
Oh, like, you know, there is 4 trillion to 1. What chance on 400 trillion to have a spot in this game on planet Earth? So, there is all these lost souls that fall into the trap that take the place that take the precious place one of 400 trillion and they lose all their time and wasting time and making other waste their time and they cause problems and you know they, they create shooting and uh, you know drama and they, they feed all the whole world and they, they make that the earth uh, uh, they cause and they make all kind of bullshit that is not radiated at all with God. So if you're watching this and you feel like ashamed, like oh shit, like what? what? Well, the, the 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 thing is that not you feel like oh like oh I, like poor me. No, no, that's not why I I do this. I do this speech because I want you to reclaim back your power and the only way you can do this is if you commit to change your health. This should be number one. Like if you work in a crappy job, if you like hang out with crappy people, if you do anything that is crap right now in your life, you need to use all that crap and say, I gotta use that money, I gotta use, you know, you gotta I gotta use everything what I can because in a way I'm not God, but I gotta invest and I gotta become God. When you become God, you reclaim back your power, and when you reclaim back your power, you can make your dream come true. And then you serve a purpose. Now you claim the 1% on 400 trillion. Now you claim your spot. Now you can enjoy really life. Not be on the sideline and watch other people be in their game. You know? Because if you are not God, you don't even start the game yet. You are just there on the sideline, even at uh, uh, any age that you are. You are sitting there on the sideline, you don't know, make a clown of yourself. Waiting. And when you do that, eventually, one a food after the other, gradually, gonna mean that you're gonna become bigger, and then eventually you're gonna become raw, or whatever you're gonna be, but you're gonna be like organic, you know? And when you are more and more organic, more and more the, you allow the connection of God to take place. And eventually, when you reclaim back your health, you're gonna eventually gonna do yoga, meditation, hang out in nature, you know, move your body, you know, it, it come, it's like a package, you know? It come all together and you're gonna manifest a small dream, a bigger dream, and everything gonna unfold because it's a package. So if you small dream, eat GMO, waste time, you're gonna be achieving toxic dreams. You're gonna be in the sideline. It's nothing to do with God. You don't start playing the game yet. You are just there and wasting precious time that it's so precious to be here on planet Earth. And I, I, I am like, like that, like speechless because I can see the people that are like wasting time and 
they just don't get it and like they think that life is just a party and all they take everything for granted and then they project all their like uh, you know the next day when you 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 drink too much you feel like crap or after taking too much drug you feel like crap and you project all this negativity around you wherever You know? Like you, you play the opposition of God and that got to stop. God tell you right now, you got to stop. We don't tolerate that on the new earth rising anymore. You gotta change your behavior or it's not gonna fly anymore on planet Earth. You're gonna see that you're gonna be removed and you're gonna allow the others that really want to play the game and embody God and use their superpower and, and create a positive change on planet Earth. That's what's gonna happen. You're gonna be removed if you don't fully commit to your health. And I am talking about this because I have, it's been four years now that gradually I commit to my health and I don't back down and I'm never gonna go back. So my voice can be here and I am in my power and that's what I got for you right now. And I got to finish this, so here we go.